Hey everyone, let's take a look at cyclically adjusted budget and government fiscal policy if we have a recession. By cyclically adjusted budget, we mean given tax rates and government expenditure, what is the federal budget deficit or surplus with full employment gross domestic product. Now here we have this two quadrant graph with government expenses and tax revenue on the vertical axis and gross domestic product on the horizontal axis. So by fiscal policy we mean changes in government spending and or tax revenues by the federal government. So here this G is a horizontal straight line and it is fixed and as you can see this is independent of gross domestic product. So G is basically fixed and G is not really changing. All right, the next thing I'm going to draw here is uh, the tax revenue line. So this one is the tax revenue line and then I will draw the full employment output level which is right over here. Okay. All right, this is what I needed. So this one, this is my tax revenue. So this is the point at which the government expenses are equal to the tax revenues. So this one, we are in year one and let's say we have full employment output level given by QF. So I'm trying to find out if we have any cyclically adjusted budget deficit or surplus in year one. Looks like in year one, the government expenses and taxes both are equal to 500. So I do not really have any deficit or surplus. So if we do not have any deficit or surplus, the government do not really need to take any fiscal policy. That means change government expenses or tax revenues. So the fiscal policy is neutral. Now let's go to year two and let's say the gross domestic product has gone down from QF to Q1. That means we are in a recession. Now I'm going to go and draw another line here and I want to find out what is the budget deficit in year 2. So this one is year 2 here. So this number is 450 billions. So year 2 we have an actual budget deficit of 50 billion dollars. But this is not the cyclically adjusted budget deficit. To be cyclically adjusted budget deficit, we have to look at the full employment output level. Even if we are at year two, the full employment output is still QF and Q1 is the actual output level. So the cyclical budget deficit, if we take a look at the full employment output, uh, this is again going to be equal to zero because the taxes are 500, government expenses are also 500, so T minus G will be equal to zero. So the cyclical budget deficit is equal to zero. 
do we have any kind of government intervention here g was fixed tax revenue went down because gross domestic product went down so we do not have any kind of congressional intervention here and fiscal policy is neutral because the government is neither changing government spending nor is it changing the tax revenue okay already now let's take a look at the other graph here and uh, it looks a lot similar to the one we saw before but there are slight differences already so this one is a uh, year one that's the one i'm drawing it and i just want to draw it uh when i'm recording this video because i want students to know how and where all these lines are coming from all right so what i have here this one is my tax revenue line g is the government expenses and this one is year three i got to just use a different marker here so this one is year three and i have the full employment output only at year three okay so now let's see what happens if we have a recession in year four all right something else to look at here this number is 500 billion so year three basically taxes minus government expenses is equal to 500 minus 500 that's equal to zero now i'm going to use this uh, ruler again what really happened here okay so basically the gross domestic product went down and we are going through a recession in year four q1 is the actual output level let's say the government is undertaking some kind of fiscal policy we are in a recession in year four and government is decreasing the tax rates already so looks like we have some kind of government intervention going on in year four so is the fiscal policy expansionary contractionary or neutral this is an expansionary fiscal policy because the tax rates are going down okay alrighty so now the next thing i'm going to do here is in year four i want to find out the actual budget deficit and the cyclical budget deficit so let's say i'm in year four and my motive here is to find out the cyclical budget deficit and the actual budget deficit okay so i have to draw a few more lines here and i hope you are everyone's going to bear with me here already so my tax rate in year two is t2 here so uh let me draw this way i was trying to make this as accurate as possible okay this is a line here and i'm gonna have another line here let me just use change this marker so that we can 
differentiate. Already looks everything looks perfect. Already, so this part, this number is four seventy five billion. My bad. I got to be consistent here. This is four seventy five billion dollars and the next one this number is 425 billion dollars all right so what's really going on the tax revenue is changing so first i want all of you to take a look at the actual gross domestic product when we have a recession in year four and that is q1 now uh what's my taxes so my taxes are 425 in year four and government expenses are 500 so my actual budget deficit is 75 billion dollars now when you take a look at the cyclical budget deficit we really have to deal with the full employment level of output at full employment level of output my taxes are 475 government expenses are 500 so this part is negative 25 billion dollars as you can see here the actual budget deficit is greater than the cyclical budget deficit now i have some data on recent u.s fiscal policy from 2000 all the way to 2015 so the recessionary year is 2007 which lasted for 18 months uh, ended in 2009 so we had the subprime mortgage crisis or the housing crisis in 2007 so look at this actual numbers and cyclically adjusted deficit numbers this actual deficit numbers all of them are greater than cyclically adjusted numbers is because this actual numbers includes the cyclical numbers okay already hope this whole actual and cyclical concept and government fiscal policy concept makes sense thank you very much